All right, time to go to Duncan. You found Alistair, did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. You're right, Duncan. I apologize. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood. One for each recruit. What do we need darkspawn blood for? For the joining itself. I'll explain more once you've returned. Surely you've acquired some before now. Of course. You must work together to collect the components, however. It's as much a part of the joining as what comes after. And what's the second task? There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. What kind of scrolls are these? Old treaties, if you're curious. Promises of support made to the Grey Wardens long ago. They were once considered only formalities. With so many having forgotten their commitments to us, I suspect it may be a good idea to have something to remind them with. And what if they're no longer there? It's possible the scrolls may have been destroyed or even stolen, though the seal's magic should have protected them. Only a Grey Warden can break such a seal. I don't understand. Why leave such things in a ruin if they're so valuable? It was assumed that we would someday return. A great many things were assumed that have not held true. How will we find this archive? It will be an overgrown ruin by now, but the sealed chest should remain intact. Alistair will guide you to the area you need to search. Is that part of the joining too? No, but the effort must be made. I have every confidence you are up to the task. Find the archive and three vials of blood, understood. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. Okay, we have our party and it's time to go out in the wilds to get some blood and the Grey Warden documents. Hail. I'm told you all have business in the wilds. The gate's open for you. Just be careful out there. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight. Can I talk to the guys? Yes. Hello, David. Where are you from? I grew up in a village about a day's trip to the east. Little blot you wouldn't even find on a map. Haven't been back in years. I struck out for the city as soon as I could outrun my pa. I've been in Denerim for, what, six years now? Never liked it much, but there's more purses there than anywhere else. Hmm. So you're a cut purse? And a pickpocket, thank you very much. Yeah. Or was, anyhow. Who'd ever guess I'd end up a Grey Warden? So how did the Grey Wardens find you? I found them. I cut Duncan's purse while he was standing in a crowd. He grabs my wrist, but I squirm out and bolt. The old bugger can run, but the garrison caught me first. I'm a wanted man in Denerim, you see, so they were going to string me up right there. Hmm. And what happened? Duncan stopped them. Invoked the right of conscription. I gave the garrison the finger while I was walking away. <laughs> Don't know why Duncan wants someone like me. But he says finesse is important and that I'm fast with a blade. <laughs> you bet your boots I am. Besides, it beats getting strung up. <laughs> so what did you think of Duncan? All right for an old bugger. He's faster than he looks too. What do you think we should do now? You heard the same speech I did. Blood and old treaties. Off we go into the wilds. All right then, let's go. Hey, I'm following you, aren't I? Let's talk to Jory. I am ready. You said you were from Redcliffe? I hailed from Redcliffe, but Duncan recruited me in Hyover, a city off the northern coast. 
Have you traveled there? I am from there, actually. I was in Arleman's retinue when he attended King Marek's funeral. It was in Hyavur that I met my Helena. I was smitten. She has the most beautiful eyes, my Helena. Now, for years, I found any excuse to return there. We married a year ago. Arleman gave me leave to serve in Hyavur, but I was attempting to persuade Helena to come to Redcliffe with me, at least until I was recruited. So you had to abandon her? Never. I will return to her once my duty is done and the Blight defeated. How did the Grey Wardens find you? Last month, Duncan visited Hyavur, and the Ban held a tournament in his honor. I won the Grand Melee. It was hard to leave my wife. We married only a year ago, and she is heavy with child now. But Ferelda needs my blade, and I shall not falter. Mm, that's noble. Um, what do you think of Duncan? He has a seemingly impossible task, with a scarce handful of Grey Wardens, yet he does not complain or flinch from his duty. And what do you think we should do now? We need to find those documents and the Darkspawn blood. It should be... interesting. No doubt. Let's go. Indeed. What about you, Alistair? Let's get what we came for and head back to Duncan. Okay, then. Over here! Oh. Who is that? Grey Wardens? Well, he's not half as dead as he looks, is he? My scouting band was attacked by Darkspawn. They came out of the ground. Please help me. I've got to return to camp. Oh, he's probably infected, but who knows. Well, let's try to bandage him up at least. I have bandages in my pack. Thank you. Oh. I... I've got to get out of here. Poor animal. Did you hear? An entire patrol of seasoned men killed by Darkspawn. Calm down, Sir Jory. We'll be fine if we're careful. Those soldiers were careful, and they were still overwhelmed. How many Darkspawn can the four of us slay? A month, Duncan visited Hyver, and the ban held a tournament in his honor. What? what? There are Darkspawn about, but we're in no danger of walking into the bulk of the Horde. How do you know? I'm not a coward, but this is foolish and reckless. We should go back. Okay, yo. We'll just, we'll just find our way out of trouble. I still do not relish the thought of encountering an army. Know this. All Grey Wardens can sense Darkspawn. Whatever their cunning, I guarantee they won't take us by surprise. That's why I'm here. You see, Sir Knight, we might die, but we'll be warned about it first. <laughs> that is reassuring. It that is. doesn't mean I'm here to make this easy, however. So let's get a move on. Okay, so Grey Wardens can sense the Darkspawn. Hey, these are the Darkspawn. How come you didn't sense them earlier? Alistair? I did get a vial of dark spawn blood, I believe. Let me see what it is. Yep, we got one. Two more to go. Or is that death root? Um, the game has skills or professions or whatever they're called, and you can conjure up potions, for example, from these herbs. And now we're heading to the documents and the chest. It is broken, as you can tell, contrary to what Duncan suggested. Well, well, what have we here? Are you a vulture, I wonder? 
A scavenger poking amidst a corpse whose bones were long since cleaned? Or merely an intruder come into these darkspawn-filled wilds of mine in search of easy prey? What say you, hmm? Scavenger or intruder? Intruder? And just how are these your wilds? <laughs> because I know them as only one who owns them could. Can you claim the same? I have watched your progress for some time. Where do they go, I wondered. Why are they here? And now you disturb ashes none have touched for so long. Why is that? Don't answer her. She looks chastened, and that means others may be nearby. Oh, you fear barbarians will swoop down upon you. Yes, swooping is bad. She's a witch of the wild, she is. She'll turn us into toads. Witch of the wilds. Such idle fancies, those legends. Have you no minds of your own? You there, handsome lad. Tell me your name and I shall tell you mine. Let us be civilized. You can call me Leth. And you may call me Morrigan, if you wish. Shall I guess your purpose? You sought something in that chest? Something that is here no longer? Here no longer? You stole them, didn't you? You're some kind of sneaky witch thief. How very eloquent. How does one steal from dead men? Quite easily, it seems. Those documents are Grey Warden property, and I suggest you return them. I will not, for it was not I who removed them. Invoke a name that means nothing here any longer if you wish. I am not threatened. Who removed them then? Twas my mother, in fact. Oh, your mother? Yes, my mother. Did you assume I spawned from a log? A thieving, weird talking log, perhaps? <laughs> Not all in the wilds are monsters. Flowers grow as well as toads. If you wish, I will take you to my mother. It is not far from here, and you may ask her for your papers if you like. We should get those treaties, but I dislike this Morrigan's sudden appearance. It's too convenient. I want an honest answer. Are you Witch of the Wilds? Have I been dishonest? Some call us witches, yes, but purely out of superstition. You know what the Circle of Magi is, don't you? The Circle requires an accounting of all mages. That is the law of the land and the Chantry. If you wish to tell your Chantry about me, go ahead. I have nothing to fear from priests. And why are you interested in helping us? Why not? I do not meet many people here. Are you all so mistrustful? Well, no, but tell us about your mother first. She prefers her privacy, but I imagine she will be curious enough why you are here. Come, see for yourself. I say we go with her. She'll put us all in the pot, she will. Just you watch. If the pot's warmer than this forest, it'd be a nice change. Follow me then, if it pleases you. Greetings, Mother. I bring before you four Grey Wardens who... I see them, girl. Hmm. Much as I expected. Are we supposed to believe you were expecting us? You are required to do nothing, least of all believe. Shut one's eyes tight or open one's arms wide. Either way, one's a fool. <laughs> she's a witch, I tell you. We shouldn't be talking to her. Quiet, Dareth. If she's really a witch, do you want to make her mad? There is a smart lad. Sadly irrelevant to the larger scheme of things. But it is not I who decides. Believe what you will. And what of you? Do you possess a different viewpoint, or do you believe as the others do? I do like your voice.
I am not sure what to believe, honestly. A statement that possesses more wisdom than it implies. Be always aware. Or is it oblivious? I can never remember. So much about you is uncertain, and yet I believe. Do I? What? It seems I do. So this is a dreaded Witch of the Wilds. Witch of the Wilds, huh? Morrigan must have told you that. She fancies such tales, though she would never admit it. Oh, how she dances under the moon. <laughs> they did not come to listen to your wild tales, Mother. True. They came for their treaties, yes? And before you begin barking, your precious seal wore off long ago. I have protected these. You... Oh, you protected them. And why not? Take them to your Grey Wardens and tell them this Blight's threat is greater than they realize. What do you mean by the threat is greater than we realize? Either the threat is more, or they realize less. Or perhaps the threat is nothing. <laughs> or perhaps they realize nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do not mind me. <laughs> you have what you came for. Time for you to go, then. Do not be ridiculous, girl. These are your guests. Oh, very well. I will show you out of the woods. Follow me. And it's time for me to go because I have a live stream in a moment. Uh, you will actually watch this video probably a week after the live stream, but we're playing Smite tonight, so I have to go. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. And be good.